There are a lot of people working here inside my Chevy Equinox. I am about to do the rear brakes on my car, and it has the electronic parking brake, which is this. This stupid thing here. I've been searching on the internet and stuff like that to try and find a scan tool that can retract the pistons in the parking brake. I have yet to find a scan tool, at least locally, that I can buy or rent that'll do it. So I found this guy. This is the Foxwell, uh, I forget the model number, but I'll, I'll link it in the, in the description. So it's going to be... Sorry. So, still learn how to use it. So we go down to maintenance. And hit the OK button. EPB, which is an electronic parking brake. Find your year, make, model. GM. Do the smart VIN ID. Confirm the vehicle, yes, 2018 Chevy Equinox. It's not the fastest tool, but it does its job. Okay. Rear brake caliper retract, yes. And you hit F1 to retract. And you get the dashboard lights up with your Christmas tree. Dings. I don't know if you can hear the pistons retracting, but they will. Yeah. Then when you're done, just unplug the scan tool. Now, what might not be a bad idea also is to disconnect the negative battery terminal. That way you can worry about nothing happening that shouldn't happen. You're also going to get all these lights put open. Well, that's why you can disconnect the battery cable. And you also get service ESC, which is, I don't know, electronic or something. But yeah, you get all those lights turned down and you do that. But after you're done, say we're done with the, the job. And we go to extend. So I'm just gonna do it just for demonstration. I'll hit F1. Again, everything is lighting up still. Okay, everything is back the way it should be. Let me hit back on this up here. Then go to sensor calibration. That's three. And that should take care of all your lights. Bam, done. So, this is a good tip for people who can't afford a $1,200 scan tool. This is $155. Again, again, I'll leave a link in the description.